Hey troops. Okay, so we have a situation. Okay. I can't really get into it as much as I want to. I will get into it next week. Okay. Um, but after seeing today's read and me even even me being a little confused by it, I I clearly see what it's it's saying now. Okay. Um, it's the whole mind, body, and soul, you know, like, meaning like, yeah, we know, we know the situations that are going on, clearly, okay, but it seems to me it is the Empress energy refusing to see something. And, and it's not refusing to see if someone's going to come back or not. It, it's not saying stuff like that. It's saying too much mental energy. And I'm even in the midst of mental energy, just like you guys, okay? Because um, I think about, like, Bob, you know, and it's it's mental energy, giving yourself self-clarity, which is great. But, like, this whole end where it was all air, that's, you know, and her trying to, the empress in the middle trying to balance out air and water, which is the emotional and the mental aspect of a situation. And this is more like denial, whether you see it or not, because there's no soul. Okay. Because um, even when you get clarity, sometimes you, you forget to embrace the soul. You know, like... So I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'll definitely, you know, break it down for you next week. But um, this is this is it. Like denial. Like decide. Like, but it's it's more like, what is it you really want? Because this is about a relationship. But like, it doesn't have to be necessarily. It's where you're going in life too. But what is it you truly want? Because right now you know exactly what you want and what you don't want. But because it's all mental, there's no soul. Get what I'm saying? So your your soul is not really truly getting something. And this hangman is because it's like you have to surrender. And it, that kind of comes with pain, okay? Um, and it talks about reconsidering and, and also having patience and, you know, changing looking at something in a new perspective. So even if you don't want something, it's still looking at it in a new perspective. Because when you decide you don't want something, where's the soul, right? But we have to learn to to end that cycle. Like when something ends or whether it comes back together or not, it, it's the world. You know, it's achieving mind, body, and soul dreams. You know, because I've been teaching the triple A's, but like, which makes so much sense. Okay, but the soul is not being taken in the action. And it's, it's kind of like this, the world speaks about being grateful and having grace and law of attraction and, and manifesting things back into your life. And it, um, it's not saying a person, ladies and gents, it's just saying, you know, especially the mind, body and soul. You know, it's like, it's refusing to see, and that's the two. That talks about balance. You know what I'm saying? Not having the emotional and the mental aspect of it. Observe, that's that's the three, you know? Mind, body, and soul, guys. That was a big message that I just, I didn't pick up at, at, at the time. Why? Because I'm even in this mental energy. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, Bob, back to Bob. Just leave Bob out of this equation. Because you made your decision based on the facts that were given with the with the cards, with Tarot. Okay? And, you know, I get it. Like, especially when something's painful. Because it's like you didn't expect this person to come back in the way they're going to come in. So it's, it's painful. But it's like you're not feeling that. You're staying strong. But it's mentally, it's strong. It's, it's just in the mind. You know, it's, you're not, something's not being released apparently because it's way too mental. Tell me about the refusing to see. It's just too mental right now, which is kind of like the two of swords, you know what I mean? Not wanting to see something. And that's exactly what came out. 
you know, it's the seven of air. I think it's just like you're sabotaging a situation. It's, but again, it's the yin and the yang, balancing it out. You, regardless of who is in this situation, you. Looks like there's another one right there. This is two, you know, well, makes sense, yin and the yang. You know, so we are going to have to talk about this. Tell me about observe. So this could be you manipulating your own brain because of, of denial. But I, so some of you are most definitely in the, in the denial. Tell me about the hangman. Observe, you know, surrender. <clears throat> so... It's kind of hard for me to see it right now, too, because apparently I'm all mental. You know, you got the mother of earth. It, this is this is on the feminine energy right now, though. You know, in the transformation card, it's like you get to transform something if you choose to. And right now, it's like you, you don't want to, you know. Um, so I'm trying to place everything without doing a whole reading on it. So I hope you really understand what I'm saying. But that, again, mind, body, soul. Mind, body, soul. You know, um, especially for those who have like an inner knowing, you know, so this is hard because it's like a lot of you are going to relate this to love. And it's like, that's my dilemma because right now I am also all mental, you know, um, even though I put my soul into this and into your reads, but like, be, like, but forgetting to talk about it with you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like embracing Tell me about embrace. So even if you gotta let a situation go, it doesn't mean you can just put your soul aside. You know what I'm saying? Because it won't help you in the future. You know, and you got the fool. So it's like you have this new opportunity to embrace something, someone, a situation. And it doesn't mean Well, I want to say like a lover, but I mean, it can for some of you, obviously. But the situation you still have coming at you is like that. So, I mean, you really got to know who you are. So this is why this is so important because as, as much as you may feel aligned, there's something out of alignment. And it's the, it's, the, it's the soul, but it's the pain. You're not seeing something. You're not feeling the pain, expressing the pain. It's, it's linked to the soul. In under denial is, is pain. Thinking the worst. Seeing the worst. Sabotaging a situation. So it's however this relates to you in what situation. You know, and I, I want to I wanna say to you guys, don't put Bob in this equation, but that would be silly because some of you guys' situation is Bob. It's the four there, you know, it's that healing. So there was obviously, it's, it's, it's like, that's just it. Like, but are you healing? You know what I mean? Like, I think you're too busy, busy spellcasting and doing whatever it is that you're doing to distract yourself for some, maybe. You know, tell me about, you know, it's like they're, what they're saying is heal, rest rest from whatever happened feel what happened if you gotta cry cry if you gotta yell yell you know what i mean sit back let things just happen like you're hanging yourself up kind of sorta well not really you're going through a transformation but they're saying create your own transformation too it's just balance it's just grounding guys you it just needs grounding just embrace it if you're feeling it even if it sucks feel it because that's what the reading was, was screaming. Tell me about um, the fool. So let this door close properly. If you need to release, release. Because that's that's like the, the bigger message I'm getting here. Okay. With the three of fire. You know, it's like your future. Your future's here. You get a new start. Your future's here. 
someone's some people are holding on to something I don't know if it's anger sorrow but that whole reading was screaming mind body soul and I put that together in the reading and I didn't see it because over here was all mental like I didn't even see it like I was being blocked from something and I think it's because I, w I was being too mental you know what I mean like it was just See, see what I'm saying? Like, even though I put passion into my reads for you guys and I'm passionate about it, there wasn't passion in the read. So it's like, no matter how strong and independent and liberated you feel, you need to ground the emotional and the mental aspect of whatever situation you're going in. Even if this is a move with the world, even if it's a move, travel, you know, even if it's something like that, like, before you make this decision or before it's presented or whatever situation may be, you have to be aligned in order for it to come in, right? Or it defeats the purpose. So we'll touch base on this next week. Definitely don't panic. Just try to reconnect with, with Mother Nature, yourself. You'll find the answer within. It's up to you to find this answer. Instead of some just being in denial. Say you do have to leave. Say you walked away from somebody or you have to leave somebody. See what I'm saying? Situation like that. Surrender to the divine. You know, go through this transformation. This makes perfect sense with the Scorpio moon, right? Allow the transformation to happen can't fight it but we do we fight it in our mind you know let the door close properly so another one can open because it's right there your future is right there you have to reconnect your mind body soul and for some of you it's it's just you know grounding I see outdoors that's why I said mama nature you know Realign. It doesn't mean the situation changes per se. It changes for you. Not anyone else. It changes for you. Because you're aligned. Moving through the door the right way. So I hope this helped. Okay. This changes your dynamics. Don't put anyone else in this equation. It changes your dynamics, your your well-being. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye, troops.